Hey, and welcome back to my game audio channel. Today I've got some very exciting news because I've been working on a new project, uh, which is a car racing game. This is a big step up from my last tutorial. If you haven't seen it already, that was just a little mobile game. Uh, this project is a little bit more fully fledged, so you got more levels, more things to interact with, more things for the user to interact with, and more parameters that can be controlled in different ways. So this video is just an introduction uh, to this game. As you'll see here from the footage, it's a very diverse uh, racing game. I've slightly compared it to Forza Horizon uh, and other racing games like that, like Burnout Paradise. Uh, it contains 12 different cars uh, along with five different racetracks uh, for the user to race around. Um, unfortunately, as a solo player game, uh, there is no uh, computer bots to go against or any multiplayer uh, at the minute for this game. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to uh, work on a game that does go against NPCs or against uh, actual real life people with a multiplayer aspect, but for now it was nice to experiment with a, a racing game. Uh, I've learned a lot uh, using obviously uh, RTPCs, um, different switch groups, different states, uh, so yeah, I, I learned a lot more in this project uh, compared to my previous project. So in this tutorial series, I'll be breaking down uh, how I've done each different section of this game. I broke it down into different sections. So number one is the cars. So how I got obviously the cars to sound different, how I managed to make the car sound realistic as possible. The second section I'll be going through my music system, so like Forza Horizon, Burnout Paradise, they have their own little custom uh, radio stations, which obviously aren't real, um, but obviously the game randomly picks out a song and it gets displayed and I'll show you how I've managed to implement that into this game. Then for the third section I'll be showing you how I've done all of the environmental uh, effects, so how I've made the environments around the courses to sound nice, how I've created uh, an applause. Uh, so obviously you've got like big crowds there, so I'm going to show you how I've managed to create the applause, uh, make that sound like a big crowd and not just a small crowd off to the side. And then just the final one will be how I finalise the game. So one thing that I didn't do in my first project was optimization. So that goes through optimization in Unity, how I've managed to make sure events don't play when they shouldn't, when switch groups shouldn't switch when they shouldn't, for example. Uh, and then also the conversion in Y, so how I've managed to go from 900 megabytes of sound assets uh, to only 40 at a time uh, using sound bank management and conversions. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you how I've done all this. Uh, so stay tuned um, and you, the next video should be showing about now. So I'll see you in the next video. See you later.